Well, um, today I'm going to do my kind of like an outfit of the day slash vlog of last week's trip to New Orleans for New Year's Eve. And during those four days, I packed, I tried my best to pack everything so it'll fit into this carry-on luggage because we did end up doing a road trip which I haven't done in a while with all of our friends and so you cannot carry too much everything has to fit into a small bag or a luggage so a lot of the things like jackets and shoes I have to repeat and um, pretty much I have mini clips that I took of myself when I was there which I think isn't very clear so I decided to um, re-wear those outfits for you and show it on uh, a little video clip here that I've done in my apartment so hopefully it makes it a little bit easier for you to see and to give a briefing the weather in New Orleans was about 40s to 50s during the daytime and at nighttime it's in the 30s and so it's too cold to wear any skirts to walk around and you know especially on Bourbon Street and you go to New Orleans you wear a lot of flats or boots because you're gonna be walking around a lot so pretty much everything I wore is flats except for nighttime I went out I had heels on so I hope you enjoy it and let me know if this is something you want me to do more or not of uh, maybe little trips I do here and there so uh, continue watching thanks a lot. Since for our New Year's trip, we decided to go on a road trip with all of our friends and family, I decided maybe I should wear something a little bit more comfortable. So I wanted to wear a loose sweater over my black faux leather leggings I purchased from Forever 21. And for shoes, I wanted to wear something short and comfortable. So I wore my military boots that I purchased from Love Couture. And since we're sitting in the car for so long, I didn't want to accessorize much. So I wore my gold Michael Kors watch along with a red wrap bracelet and my new fun earrings that I adore totally. And if you had followed me on Instagram, you would have seen that I had posted this picture up um, that day of. So please follow me on Instagram. That same night when we changed to go out, I decided to wear a dark hunter green halter dress with my new Valentino shoes that you've seen in my last haul. For the accessories, I only used a studded belt, some geometric earrings, and my favorite animal print gold clutch, along with my black bracelet and a simple gold ring. Here's a picture of me and my sister and our closest friend. Here's a pic of the second day outfit. On this day, it was actually the coldest day of our four days there, and I decided to wear something maybe chic, simple, and comfortable. So I started off with my H&M top that I purchased and was seen in my previous haul video. Along with, uh, for the bottom, I wore my Zara leggings that were nice and thick and comfortable. And it sucked in all the right parts. For my shoes, I wore the same military boots that I wore from the day before. I accessorized it with my favorite animal scarf because I can't go anywhere without animal print. For the jewelry, I wore all silver jewelry which consisted of um, jewelry from H&M and Shop Evocation along with my Cartier watch. And here's a picture of the close-up of the jewelry. And finally, you can see how much fun we had on Bourbon Street, hanging out with the horses. Here's a new picture of what I wore for the third day. And I decided to wear my blue top, sweater top that I purchased from H&M. That was buy one, get one free, so that was definitely a great deal. For the bottom, I actually brought a mini skirt to wear with stockings, but I didn't realize how cold it was, so I had to re-wear my faux leather leggings along with the jacket that I wore from the day before. For the shoes, I bought some over-the-knee boots that I purchased from DSW. For the jewelry, I actually wore from Shop Evocation, Toby, HRH, and Forever 21. And on top of that, I wore my new headband that I got from Shop Evocation. I adore this headband. It's really cute, very simple. It has a cute little cross in it. And it's perfect for the outfit. Here's a close-up of my accessories. Here's a pic of me and my girls in front of our hotel room. <music> 
if you've been following me on YouTube, you would know that during my Get Ready With Me New Year's Eve party, this was the exact outfit and accessories I wore in that video. And I thought this was the perfect amount of sparkle, whether it's to the skirt or to my accessories. And I could not wait to wear this outfit that night. I got tons of compliments. So I love, love, love. Here's a picture of us girls before we headed out. And finally, a picture of me and my husband. On our last day, I know that I'll be sitting back in that car for another five hours. So I went to wear something comfortable again. For the pants, I wore my black and gold shimmery jeans from Forever 21. In the top, it's my favorite tee, which is J. Crew Vintage Tee, along with my leopard scarf and green jacket from H&M. For the jewelries, I kept it simple and wore my Toby Shopping Vulcan and H bracelet, along with Michael Kors watch. Well, as you can see, those are the multiple outfits I wore. And since it was so cold, I had to like wear pants practically almost every single day. And throughout the whole trip, I would say um, each of the day I had a little bit of a highlight, something that stood out to me in that day. And so on day one, the first thing that stood out to me is that when we went to a restaurant and waited two and a half, I think practically three hours for dinner just to get into that restaurant. And it's pretty famous in New Orleans. It's Jock. Emo, Ikimo, something like that. I don't know, but if you follow me on Instagram, I had a picture of their famous dish, which is the alligator cheesecake. So, um, at first you're like, alligator cheesecake, ooh. But it actually tastes really good and it's something different. So, if you go there, definitely you have to try it. And then on day two, we went to um, Emerald's restaurant, and the main dish that actually stood out to me was their banana pie banana pie and in there's like chunks of banana it is so delicious and you can tell from the picture that it's nice and thick and we all practically shared that and then on the third day we went to acme oysters it's something i always go eat every time i go to new orleans and acme oyster or drago's or they're both famous for their grilled oysters with cheese and butter and you eat it with bread and right now it's a perfect time for oyster season because it's cold so they taste super sweet so if you do go to new orleans you gotta try out the acme oysters and pretty much throughout the whole day we all we will end up going to two places for new year's eve which is our friend's house party and you can see the picture of how much fun we had and then uh, we went to the club at Harris Casino because that's where we stayed and we ended the night with of course lucky dogs because after a night of partying and having fun you get hungry so we ended up grabbing some hot dogs that are right outside of the club and we always ended with a hot dog and some nachos and that practically was the end of our trip and I had a blast going to New Orleans so I don't know how you celebrate your New Year's Eve but I bet you it's just as fun and there's always wonderful things to look forward to in 2013 so um, I'm so happy you decided to spend your time with me and watch my mini vlog of my New Year's Eve trip and thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time on the next video. Bye!